If we talk about the sector, that is the steel construction sector, I'd say. So, we are like in manufacturing of the steel. And what we see, if you divide this tra the, the, the sector in like three main sections, I would say. One is like the downward, second one is midstream and uh, upstream. The downstream investment is sufficient or I would say it is more than sufficient than what the country can absorb as of now. Uh, our estimation is like almost 600 uh, million dollars worth of investment definitely is made. So this is one of the leading sector I would say of the economy of Uganda. When we talk about downstream, it is like making the final products and distributing it to, to the people directly. Yeah? There is another, when I say midstream, it means like you are getting some midstream products, uh, which is not going all the way up to the iron or mining where you get something from the ground. That I will call upstream. So, you, there is those two midstream and upstream as very limited investment, I would say. So, that area is like, I would say, virgin or it has a vacuum. We need a player to come there. If that vacuum is filled, it can change the economy of the country. Because as of now, the downstream is very much dependent on the importation. So, all upstream or midstream products comes out of the country or I would say out of the region rather, the whole East Africa region. So that is where the more investment is ready needed. So like the downstream is a bit crowded and on the midstream upstream is like the vacant and the vacuum. There are companies who can come to fill that gap provided some infrastructure challenges are met. Like iron ore in Uganda is one of the best iron content. Uh, what you find on the mines. It's more than I would say 60, it ranges from 60 to 80 percent, which is quite good quality of the iron you get from the mining here. But the problem is you don't have reducing agent which is called coal or you need a gas which is like more latest technology. Now bringing coal up to here has its own implication in terms of cost. It doesn't work out as of now. Or bringing gas needs some pipelines on all this, which is government infrastructure kind of sector, needs to come in. So that is why we see the vacuum. So the way government has focused on the oil sector, building refineries and crude oil, crude oil pipeline, the same focus which we hope is now taken for the NDP3, which is the next five years uh, project for the government. Now in that they have factored into iron and steel and that is where we are more hopeful of getting that vacuum filled. So many downstream companies who are big players, their manufacturers also intend to go and participate into that midstream or the upstream. So it's like creating that environment which is like needed. Then I'm sure that vacuum provides a lot of opportunity for the players who are in the downstream at the same time the economy of the Uganda by adding much more value within the economy than depending outside and sending the forex out of the country.